today we're going to be using AI to create AI for trading crypto. Now, if you're not new here, welcome back. But if you are, I'm Moondev and I help traders become algorithmic traders so they can remove emotion and automate their strategies. Now I'm going to fly through this video and go deep fast and people who have been here before, they know that I'm, I'm just a regular dude as well. I didn't go to school for trading or coding and this is all learnable. So we're going to use machine learning and AI specifically. We're going to use chat GBT in order to create a machine learning model that can predict the price of the next minute in crypto or the next five minutes or the next 10 minutes and 15 minutes and so on and so on. So we've already worked with ChatGPT throughout this and essentially I will catch you up to speed so you don't have to go back and watch the other videos, but we imported all the imports. We're using Keras and we put in the loaded in the data. We pre-processed the data. By the way, I told you I'm going fast through this. So if you need to catch up, Here's where I actually teach this stuff, step by step, how to, how to algo trade. There's a link below in my algo trade camp. Anyways, we pre-process the data, then we split the data into 70% uh, to train the data. We wanna train the data on 70% of the minute data. The minute data looks something like this. I have the minute data for as long as needed. This was from 2019 for Ethereum. Super hard to get, but I do have access to that. and. Everybody in the boot camp has access to that, that as well. But we then are defined an LSTM model. And we trained it. And the training took probably about 20 minutes or so. So, you know, if you're just following along by looking at the code above, it's going to take about 20 minutes to train it. And then we, we tested the actual model with our test data and we made the prediction. So our mean absolute error is 0.51. So that's where we are. And we're just gonna keep mobbing through this because there's a lot to test now. I want to go ahead and first off, I want to see what ChatGPT said about plotting this. So let's scroll up here. And before we test, test another model, I want to go ahead and plot and see how the model did. So let's go ahead and get the R2 square as well. Just because ChatGPT gave us all this code. Okay, so I get this error when running the R2 square. Let's have it start working on this. I get this error when getting the R2 to score okay so there was an error regenerate the response please don't die on me oh my goodness gracious i think we have to restart it okay so i'm gonna see if oh man i shouldn't have restarted it because now i can't see all the code that verify if i'm human let's verify if you're human the heck is this Log in again? Okay. Capac capacity chat GPT? Come on, B. Not not when not when we're making a video. Not when we're making a video. Okay, well, you know, at least I was able to review what happened in this video uh, in the last video. And let's just go through this code so so you can actually have a model that ChatGPT built us. So first we import, we do all our imports here, pretty easy to do. And I wanna make sure you see all this code because I wanna make sure this is valuable to you. ChatGPT being down kinda, you know, hurts the process of building on top of this. But I think reviewing this for myself is super important. And then also, so you can see exactly how to build a LSTM model using ChatGPT, hopefully it'll come back. But the cool thing is, is this is part of a series. So let's just review what we did. So we load in the data. This is essentially just bringing in the data. And as I showed you, I just got minute data here for Ethereum since 2019. And we can see here, then we drop the access, the date time access. 
and then we pre-process the data. So scalar equals min max scalar, then scalar dot fit transform. And then we split the data like I mentioned before. I'm taking 70% of the data. A lot of people do 80%. ChatGPT actually told us to do 80% too, but we had so much data, I split it 70, 30 instead. And you can see this just takes the length of the data and subtracts the train size, which is 70%. And then we had to reshape things a bit here. So just, just note that. And then we define the model. So model equals sequential model dot add LSTM 50 input shape and so on and so on. I think you can see all this code. And then we went ahead and actually trained the model. So let me go ahead and make these notes here so you can see it. train the model and boom this is the code to train the model so model.fit train target train pass in the target in the train target train epochs where we did 100 epochs let's see if 100 epochs is even needed though it doesn't look like it improved that much so it's probably not even needed to do 100 epochs but Epochs are pretty much how many times it goes around and trains it. Then validation data, we pass in the test and the target test, verbose equals two. So you should have all this code now. And let's make sure, I know this is a long function, so I just wanna make sure you can screenshot it or whatever. And the cool thing is, is before ChatGPT was at capacity, they probably did that just for me because I was asking too hard of questions to be honest. I was having a, an AI build AI and now it's freaking out on me because it's like, whoa, I think you hacked the program. I think you understand what we don't even understand and you're fin feeding in this new data, this new information, these errors. We've never seen errors like this before and Mundev, you're sending these errors that imply that you're trying to use our AI to build more AI and you're actually getting pretty good results. So go ahead and play around with this yourself a bit. Let's go down to the bottom here where there's a little bit more code for you to see. This is how you make the predictions and then you pass in the test set. Remember the test set is 30% of the data. And then I just printed out the predictions, not really needed. But then from sklearn.metrics, I imported the mean absolute error. And this pretty much measures the predicted value versus, so the predicted, the machine learning predicted value versus the actual value. And it's pretty helpful. And we got an MAE of 0.518. So I know this was a lot, but if you want to learn the basics and you're new and this might be over, over your head, if you want to learn exactly how to algo trade, or maybe you're a coder already or a, a trader that has started coding, I went back and you know, it was really hard to learn this stuff because nobody wants to share it online, right? So when I was learning, it, it took a lot longer. And I went back and I just put everything that I wish I would have, somebody would have told me into a boot camp so we can really grow this community and together absolutely crush algo trading. And I want to lead the way by giving you this algo trade camp that shows you absolutely everything you need to become a great algo trader. And you can just watch all the videos, you get a bunch of algorithms, you get access to our Discord. So you, so I'll be in the Discord if you have any questions. And there's a ton of really great algo traders inside of the Discord to help you along your journey. So I wish, wish, wish I had this algo trade camp when I was getting started. And that's why I put it together and try to put everything that I wish I had at the start here. So ChatGPT kind of flunked today, but luckily it had already built something for us. And now you have the code to play around with. I use Google Colab because it's a little easier to have everything installed. It already has TensorFlow and all that good stuff installed. And that's sometimes a little difficult to implement. So 
I'll see you inside the Algo Trade Camp. Let me know if you want me to go ahead and make a part to this video where ChatGPT helped us go ahead and do a few more models. We did the LSTM model here in this video, and the next one I want to do is probably a random forest and some others. So I'll see you there in the next one.